Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Today, we're going to look at the Black Friday budgeting tips and tricks, and we're going to cover several things in order for you to be able to navigate this holiday season and shop just like a pro. So in the agenda, what we have is looking at the tips and tricks. What are some of the things that we can start doing even today in order to prepare for the, this holiday season? Second, looking at the resources that you can look to in, on campus when creating this list and make, making sure that it really just maximizes your potential once you go into the into either Thanksgiving as well as Christmas. And the last part is the activity, which is the bingo that we have prepared for y'all. And in terms of tip number one, research. This is really crucial. Starting your research early because there are many already many deals already going on right now. And this will be helpful not only so that you don't get stressed as the days get closer and you're looking frantically for different deals that are available, but rather it will also help you understand what are some of the prices that are available from the different vendors. This way you can understand whether you're actually getting a good deal or maybe not such a good deal. So research is key. That's our tip number one to ensure that you're successful this season. Tip number two, creating a list that will help you stick to a budget. And again, this seems a little bit simplistic, but that's what we want in this case, straight to the point in order for us to achieve our goals. Creating a budget that prioritizes your purchases is going to be the blueprint for success. And when we talk about this, one of the ways that we can approach creating a budget is to first grab a piece of paper and list down all of the things that we want to purchase, all of the gifts. No, don't worry if it's uh, big or small, just list them all out. Once you've done that, what you can do is flip that paper and rank those gifts. And here's where the 80-20 principle comes in because I can bet you that there are certain gifts that you want far more than others. When you rank them, you'll be able to understand where is it that you want to put your money on so that you're really happy with the purchases that you end up with. And you don't end up going to really crazy when you see all these deals and you have that fear of mi missing out because you see so many great deals. So once you have a blueprint, you'll, you're able to prioritize and understand and ultimately don't not have that fear that you're missing out on some great deals out there because you already know what you want. The next tip is shopping incognito. So we're not talking about using a disguise, but a lot of websites do track your activity through cookies and offer you deals that are personalized when we're talking about shopping online. If you'd rather not have this activity tracked, using incognito mode might be an option you want to consider as this will allow you to go through different websites and not have those personalized options, but just see it as if you were a new person, a brand new customer. Tip number four, shopping online. With a bigger emphasis on making sure that stores are not overcrowded, a lot of retailers are probably going to have a stronger shift towards online offerings. That's not to say that you can't provide gifts that aren't online, but even using gifts that are do it yourself will be really meaningful and will go a long way because it will say that you took the time to create this gift for this one person and you specifically took the time to create something that is geared towards their interests. So shopping online, but also do it yourself gifts are another option that you can think about when shopping. Now let's shift into creating a Black Friday budget. Some of the things we wanna consider is deciding how much we're spending, writing that number down and being strict with it and asking yourself how we will pay for it. If we were to break that down a little bit more, understand how much are you spending this holiday season? For that, let's ask ourselves, what is our annual income? Some of the professionals or some of the experts here say that you shouldn't spend one more than one and a half percent of your annual income. And that's, that's considering the travel expenses that might go into your holiday travel, such as airline tickets, or maybe even traveling um, in your car with gas expenses and such already factored in. So understanding what is your annual income and then from there, maybe narrowing it down a little bit more. Making a list and understanding what is it that you'd like to purchase. This goes back to the slide that we previously covered. How will you pay for it? Is it credit, debit, or cash? When we talk about um, having credit cards, 
or paying with cash. Something that's important about paying with cash is that it keeps us accountable. It also doesn't have an interest rate. When we have credit cards, they can have high interest rates if you don't make the entire payment. If you make the minimum, you will still have to pay fees on your interest. And just as well, it will help you not overspend. So those are some of the benefits when we compare cash against credit cards. And lastly, how do you plan to pay for this bill if you are using credit? This is very important so that you don't end up spending a lot of a lot of, of your money using a credit card, but in the end, you have maybe a lot of interest that you end up paying. So understanding and making a plan ahead will allow you to not stress once that bill comes by. Having said that, shifting onto the resources, if you'd like to create your own Black Friday budget, don't don't be shy and stop by the May Center or make an appointment on Handshake where we'll be able to meet one-on-one -on -one with you online at the time that's most convenient for you in order to create a Black Friday budget so that you can shop like a pro this upcoming holiday season. Having said that, let's now turn to the activity, which is the bingo that we have created for all of y'all.